I have reviewed and tested many different keyboards on this channel, and I think I may have just discovered the best keyboard I have ever used. The Drop Alt High Profile is now available as a group buy on Drop, so let's find out if it's worth buying right now. Before this video starts, I have been thinking about starting a Discord channel so I can talk to everybody watching my videos, so if that's something you would want, please let me know. I also enjoy all the funny comments you guys have been leaving on my videos. I have found out that I apparently look like the male version of Selena Gomez and Jarvis, so if you think I look like someone, please leave me a comment below, because for some reason, that's pretty accurate. I don't know how you guys know my parents, but... Uh yeah, that's kind of weird. You have all been so supportive and it has been helping me make a lot more videos. So if you do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. The Drop Alt is a 65% keyboard with 67 keys, meaning it has dedicated arrow keys, the delete, home, page up, and page down keys as well, while only being one row longer than 60% keyboards. The high profile version retails for $230 or you can get the bare bones version without the keycaps or switches if you're going to replace them anyways for $40 cheaper at $180 US. It also comes in the regular low profile version which is only $180 for the full keyboard. You can get all the boards in either the original space grey colorway or the one I got which is black. This board is fully hot swappable which is great for people who want to use their own switches or change their switches a lot as you can easily replace them without soldering. If you don't get the bare bones version it comes in many different switches including kale, cherry and halo switches. I ordered mine with halo trues but then switched them out for Zelio's V2 67 grams which I just reviewed so check out that video. Out of the box it comes with a 56 inch good quality rubber USB-C cable. A switch puller that isn't the greatest quality if you're pulling out a lot of switches. A keycap puller which is nice and if you unscrew the bottom it has a screwdriver. And lastly a quick start guide which also shows all the function shortcuts. It has a nice anodized CNC machined aluminum frame and weighs 1219 grams or 2.68 pounds which both make it feel like the highest quality keyboard you will ever use. Out of the box, I was surprised just how heavy this keyboard is. You could probably use this keyboard as a weight if you want to get ripped in between desks while in a game. It's that heavy. The case is slightly angled and not adjustable at 6 degrees, which to me is the perfect angle and I think most people would agree as well. I do like how they have USB-C ports on both the right and the left side of the keyboard depending on your preference, which I've only seen on drop keyboards as a drop control also includes this feature. The keycaps are surprisingly good quality and are backlit which allows the lights to shine through nicely. They are made of PBT plastic which is a really good quality plastic. And they are double shot meaning the legend shouldn't fade very quickly after a while. If you are looking to replace the keycaps, the right shift is smaller than normal at only 1.75 units. Which is the same as a normal caps locks key if you're looking for a comparison. A lot of GMK keycap sets come with this size shift key and Drop sells a lot of them as well. It isn't too big of a deal, just look if you're buying a set to make sure they include a 1.7U shift key. Though as someone who normally replaces the keycaps on my keyboards, I don't plan on changing these keycaps as of right now because they are super nice. However the lighting on the caps locks key and some of the larger keys isn't completely perfect as it fades out near the start and end of the words. But it is really hard to notice and you can really only tell if you're looking directly for it. Like I was saying at the start of the video, I got these with Halo Trues, which to me feel pretty mushy when compared to the Halo Clears. So if you're deciding between the two, I would go with the Halo Clears. And when both are compared to the Zelios V2s, they get destroyed. Here is a sound test between all of them. I didn't feel like replacing all of the switches to Halo Trues, so I only replaced a few of the switches.
I go more in depth between the Halo Clears and the Zelios on a separate video, but the Zelios are way smoother and feel more tactile, which is great for typing and also doesn't affect my gaming performance. The lighting on this keyboard is super good and bright, and it also includes LEDs around the entire side of the keyboard. Although you can see the individual LEDs, it isn't a huge deal and still looks really great, as I don't really notice it too often unless I'm looking for it. You can control all the default lighting functions on board through shortcuts, so I'll go through all of them right now. Function plus A brings you to the previous LED pattern. Function plus D is the next LED pattern. Function plus W raises the brightness. Function plus S decreases the brightness. Function and Q decreases the LED effect speed. Function plus E increases the speed. Function plus tab toggles the breathing effect. Function plus caps changes the pattern direction. Function plus X turns off all the lighting. Function and Z changes what LEDs are on, either the side only, keycaps only, both, or none of them. Function plus the number keys to use the function row. Function and N toggles the keyboard between 6 key rollover and N key rollover. The default of the keyboard is 6 key rollover. Function and page up increases the volume and function and page down decreases the volume. And there are still some of the regular keys that couldn't fit on the keyboard that you can still use. If you want to see all of them, you can pause the video right now. Speaking of the layout, you can completely remap any key and customize the lighting through their customization website. It would take a while to explain how to do this, so I'll make a separate video sometime in the near future, so make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications to see that video. In the meantime, you can go to the link in the description if you want to try to figure it out yourself. I do wish they made a software to make things easier as you do have to use the command prompt for some stuff, but it does allow for a lot of customization. I'll super quick go through all the default lighting effects. First is rainbow scrolling, then just a plain rainbow, teal slash salmon, yellow, then red, green, blue, white, white plus red stripe scrolling, and red stripe scrolling. So this keyboard does cost a pretty penny, so is it worth your money? If you are a keyboard enthusiast looking for a compact keyboard and never want to buy another keyboard ever again, I would say yes, it is completely worth your money. As this keyboard has first class build quality and remarkable customization with nice keycaps and being hot swappable, which to me is enough to make it the best keyboard I have ever used and has become my main keyboard and I don't see myself switching anytime soon. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out all my other videos, like, comment, subscribe and turn on post notifications as I will be uploading every Saturday at 9am Eastern Standard Time. I'll see all of you next time.